Holiday shoppers spending billions of dollars this holiday season, many of them online. But how are local small businesses faring this year as a result? Our Steve Pickett joining shoppers today to find out. He's live now in the Bishop Arts District of Dallas. Yeah, in the busy Indigo 1745 here in Bishop Arts District, this place has been pretty busy. Look at these folks. They've been here most of the day shopping, surprise browsing for a lot of their family, I'm told. But these particular owners of these shops, they say the big box retailers, the online shopping, not really affecting what they do here. Three different types of shopping experiences. Did you find everything okay? I did. An upscale boutique where champagne flows. Christmas is a big time for us. An East Dallas Antique and Collectibles mainstay. They're looking for that one of a kind. And a West Dallas pop-up shop. These three shopping venues are all locally owned and operated. Are you guys having everything okay? Okay, yeah, we're having fun. Okay, good. Elizabeth Mass Tallulah and Hess shop has no shortage of holiday customers and believes the presence of profit are in season right now. There's enough business for all of us, um, and you just have to single yourself out and, and really be able to explain why you're special. This is our time of year. Jason Cohen's Curiosities is a maze of trinkets and treasures, and customers eyeing vintage jewels to ceramic St. Nick's are again, he says, keeping his family business in the black. We're lucky because we have a very strong client base. People really like to come and spend time in here and shop and it shows. It makes us happy. It makes them happy. Holiday foot traffic and window browsing doesn't always turn into actual purchases, but S30 Collective, Gisela Borghi Hucker's clothing and accessory pop-up store in West Dallas. She says she doesn't depend on mall-sized crowds. Her small business, however, continues to have a growing following and holiday shoppers finding her as well. They know exactly what they want and they come and, and find us and uh, purchase and support us. Yeah, we essentially heard the same thing here for a number of these boutiques that say, yes, people are going to go online and shop. They're going to go to the larger corporations to do that part of their holiday shopping. But this is distinctive and it's local and they have no problem finding people, as we see right now at this very hour, coming through their doors for the holiday shopping season. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.